Hey everybody, welcome back to Destiny 2. Uh, this is the, uh, we're going to be doing the farm, which is the new social area that opened up today. Um, so that we can check it out and see how this is going to look, essentially. Um, so I'm actually recording this as a separate uh, audio overlay, and I really don't know how that's going to go. So we're going to see how this works out. But uh, maybe I should have been doing this with the other ones before. <laughs> it's hard to remember what I was trying to do when I was in the game, though, so it's not always the like going to be the best option for me. I think doing it in the moment is probably better. But here we are, flying over Earth with our ship, uh, just as we you know, usually do in all the other loading screens. Um, I think the only other time I've seen this one, though, is uh, in the strike. So this might be something new for some of you. Um, anyways, here we go. So in the farm, it's just this huge, huge, huge area. There's like a big building in the middle that's a hangar where our stuff is, you know, like our ship is essentially, or the, the ship that's left there. Um, there's a there's a couple of vendors that are around that you can tell where they are. They're not in the game right now. The, the vendors weren't active. This was just a server load test today because this is, after all, a beta. Um, but as we watch this and go run around and stuff, you'll see there's different rooms here where things happen. You can kind of guess where certain people will be. And it seems like it's some kind of war room. I bet the lobby, you know, Ikora and... Caden, then we'll be standing in there, probably talking about whatever uh, is going on in the, the game that day. Um, it's a little boat dock thing that we're on. I wish there was an action to sit in the chair. It'd be kind of interesting, like, just to have people sit in there. Yeah, I was trying to see if there was a, uh, if it brought something up, but it didn't. And over here is a fire, which is uh, just some sticks with a glowing effect on it. Which I thought was kind of interesting. There's a big soccer field down here that you can go to. Um, in the soccer field, you can actually, you know, you play soccer, obviously with other people, which is uh, kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, this place is huge. It is gigantic. This place. There's just like a million other. Uh, guardians in here at this point. I think they're trying to see how many Guardians they can instance in at the same time without having the server drag. Because there's probably about 20 people in here. Um, let's see. Wish I knew where these what these vendors were that were going to be here. So I could tell you like where things were. This is that big building I was talking about. And, uh, yeah, my, if my voice sounds a little weird or raspy or whatnot, uh, I have a wicked hangover. So, <laughs> that's, uh, that is what's going on. I sound a little Darth Vader-y today. I think I come back to this building later because there's an entrance on the other side that I go in. And I goof around with it a little bit. I might cut that part out because it's I sort of just redo everything that I did originally. There wasn't really like it, it's for as big of an area as it was. There wasn't really much to see right now or to do because there's just there's just people here. There's no uh really aren't any NPCs to deal with. Um, I really wish there was like a weapon shop or something open, but it is a beta. It's not a demo. It's a beta. So you know what can you expect? The ship looks really cool. And that's just the, the City Hawk. Big pile of missiles. Looks like the gunsmith. I could be wrong that part there. More of those sort of in-the-house things. I started running into like a lot of invisible walls in here, which... I'm not entirely sure why they're hiding stuff from us right now like that, but maybe it's important story plot stuff. The 
this is sort of another one of those areas you can go to like a boat dock and whatnot it just the, a lot of it looks like the same boat dock from the other side um, this is clearly a different house than I was at before though because the other one I could go into I want to say those are the new those those like things that you've been seeing around the the red things that look like hover bikes are probably our new sparrows uh, I presume they will not be called sparrows anymore and probably because like our old sparrows use some kind of variant of the the light energy that we don't get from the traveler anymore. I got myself a little stuck here for a bit. And I was trying to hamster wheel it up on this one. Which was fun for a few seconds. Yeah, there's got to be a way to get up above these buildings, too, because I'm looking at them, and those big cables up there look like they're meant to be walked on. And then here's the soccer field. So it's like a variation. Like it, it should have been. I feel like they should have used the little, the little soccer ball again, like they had in the uh, the tower before. But they used like the big ball. And uh, I don't know. I guess it's just because it's easy to lose. Like if you had the little ball, it'd be easy to lose it in that grass there. Yeah, you just run around and you try to score a goal. There didn't seem to be like teams, uh, like a team mechanic or anything for it. It was just sort of you just show up and play. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you score a goal, you get fireworks, which I think you might see happen soon. Yeah, sort of counted that one. Which didn't really. <laughs> but there we are. That was the the banging we heard earlier too when when the video first started up as I was jumping through the window and uh, yeah and then I just go kind of test out the boundaries of the of the place see where it kind of ends you like doesn't allow you to go and wh whatnot There, there was an invisible wall out here. I think it was at this hill, yeah. There it is. It was pretty far down. I mean, you can kind of tell, like, nothing's rendered out there, so you're not really supposed to go out there, but it was just, you know. I kind of like, so when they put up invisible walls, I, I'd rather they, there's, like, an actual physical like wall existing in the game space so that you know because it's just weird that you're like running up against it and like there's an in, there's just a force field there um oh so this is the other this is the hangar again This is like a landing pad area. And this is, I guess, where we get the water for the farm from. Also, something of note: this is uh, the farm is where. So, if you're when you play through the story mode, uh, the video that uh, like there's one of the cutscenes where Ikora and Zavala are talking to each other, and Ikora says that she's going to go to the farm. And it was like one of those planting the seeds, like, what's, what's the farm? Where's the farm? And, uh, you know, now we're getting to see it. So that's kind of a pointless 
tale there, but it was a uh, <laughs> it was still something as far as the uh, as far as the game goes, just kind of like synergy with what it's doing. And here I am, just lost in the woods right now, roaming around. Um, I do eventually find a spot where it tells me I have to turn back. I think it was over by the the field. Yeah, this one here. So if you go outside of this, it immediately says turn back. And I heard someone die over there earlier in the, like earlier in this clip, and when I was playing it. So I know like that is somewhere where you can go and you can actually, obviously you would die from being out there, which I don't understand because it's the gates wide open. You can just walk right out there. Um, probably just gonna be like how you leave the leave the level when it starts in the uh, the actual game. So like you just walk over there instead of having to open up your uh, your ghost and call your ship, you would just walk out to your ship that was out there. And then I think I give you guys a good, nice view of the the sweeping vista here. There's a lot of people here. Okay, and that's pretty much everything. So, I guess I'll let you guys go. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one